flux is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope to see you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you. Welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out. You know, going through our, you know, our journey is no easy road, but it allows you to learn. It allows you to gravitate, ascend towards things, evolve in so many different ways. It will truly be a blessing when you can finally figure it out. It's a blessing more than a curse. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you um, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to get how I impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, Please go ahead and do that. Even if it's a um, fellow empath that are going through trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for you know joining the channel and welcome to the our community. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, um, my meditation music is called Meditation Music for Relax mind body and deep relaxation music sleep sleep music yoga music spa music uh yin yang 10 and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas when we own our truth and share it with the world lord that can be <laughs> that can be very scary trust me believe me i i, I mean it was very scary for me i mean being able to see myself doing this and it's going on the third year it doesn't seem like it's been almost three years already for me but i've evolved so much i've learned you know so much from my tragedy um i learned so many things you know it wasn't actually a tragedy it was just a life lesson on a lot of things that i didn't know aware of coming into myself finding myself seeing what i was capable of doing you know it's just a lot of people have told me and congratulated me on Rosalind you're opening your life up you know you're you know you stepped out and you were able to tell your story tell your you know your situations that occurred into your life and being able to help a lot of people that I've connected with a lot of beautiful people even if you know if it ended good I mean it didn't end too well I still you know those were lessons to me and I don't wish anything bad on anybody you know everybody you know they're either a lifetime ex you know lifetime uh, situation or their you know a season situation you know you have to be able to tell the difference between the two and you know if it's meant for that person to be in your life it'll be you know if not it's not you know there people are meant to cross your path for either you're gonna learn something off of them or they're gonna learn something off of you and so I really felt like I own I came into my situation yeah, I had to learn to be confident. I had to be learning to know that I had that power to be able to do anything I put my mind to, apply myself as much as possible, being able to have faith. You know, it took me a long time to be able to have faith in a lot of things, you know, because it's like when a person can go through that, you know, I lived up my, my, my fear. I used to tell my parents, you know, the worst fear of me having, you know, when I found out I was adopted, I found out I was adopted on my 14th birthday. I was 13 going on 14 and it was like that was like a punch to the gut you know it's like anytime my birthday occurred so many different things has happened that I just I dreaded my birthday I hated my birthday you know now it's just like God has allowed me to see another year that's a blessing because a lot of people my age there are some people that didn't make it you know I had a lot of friends that you know have passed away that I held dear you know that are not here you know I've got to live you know all these different things have occurred in my life that you know yes these things happen and I had to be you know um you know put my 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 fears aside and being able you know the universe and then push me out to uh, make videos first I started doing video diaries then you know it was on the verge of me finding my mom and on top of that telling the world who I was related to you know then the experiences that I've had with my dad along with growing up you know the things that occurred in my life you know it was I, I mean a lot of fears came through my head like people are people gonna believe me um you know what do people think about me you know are they gonna 
even listen to what I even had to say. You know, there's a lot of different things that, you know, that went through my head and it was just like, now I'm just like, I'm learning and growing every day. Even if it was just one person, that's, you know, that one person can start domino effect, you know, telling this person, this person, this person. And then it's just the fact is I, I got over 1100 subscribers now, which is truly a blessing and being able to help people. I love that. You know, I, ever since I was a little girl, I always knew I wanted to help the world. Uh, you know, when I said I want to be able to bring smiles on people's faces, allow people to have love in their heart when it's been dark, shunned out of that for so long, you know, because it's like I didn't really grow up with that love. I had it from my mom and I had it from my adopted father at, at some point in time. But it was like the more I started becoming into a, a little mirror, mirror image of my dad, the more he shunned away. And it's just like all these different things have occurred in my life to where I can actually say it without crying. There's a lot of times that, you know, y'all caught me and I'll be like, you know, I'll start tearing up. But it's just like when I finally see, finally see what I went through, it's like, you know, they got pissed at me, you know, my, my uh, adopted father and his wife, you know, and I'm, I'm just like, shoot, y'all wanna allow me to be able to see the power within myself. You know, I'm glad y'all put me through this situation because I would have never knew what I was capable of achieving. You know, never knew what, you know, my anger, my fear was determination to be able to become something that I didn't even know I was going to be. You know, and it's just like, like I told y'all, you know, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. It's like when God, creator, source puts you on a mission and you know you're working towards something. You're going through different changes in your life. You're healing from things that has traumatized you for a long time. You know, whether if it was from a childhood, adolescenthood, or you start going through things at adulthood. But usually if you're going through things in adulthood, you have went through things through your childhood. So it's just like all these things have occurred. And it's just like when I can release that back and look at my situation and saying, you know what? It was a tragic situation. I lived out my fear. You know, I, 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 my dad's been all over the place. I knew me and my dad had some kind of weird connection without me knowing he was my dad, even though he was my dream daddy. Never knew in life he was my real dad. You know, all these different things. I was always that mystery woman to him, and he was always that mystery man to me. And But we had all these th different things occurred, and just being able to know I had this amazing connection with my dad knowing that we've had so many different lifetimes you know remembering you know it's a blessing to be able to remember this was my twin brother because people used to flip out about that when people found out who my dad was and then when you put my picture side by side we have the same birthmarks you know you see right here my dad has that famous mole i have the same mole you know all these different things you know it was just like growing up being in that life before when we played that role of being identical twins we were very, they, they considered us very special. You know, a lot of people at that time when we were on that contract, spiritual contract of being those twins, it looked like the village of the dam is that we weren't evil twins. We were like the golden kids. You know, anytime somebody went through troubles, you know, had money troubles, they would always come back and give us offerings, even though we didn't take the offerings. We love what we did. We were putting happiness in people's lives. So it was just like all those things happening. You know, one of us died or whatever. But they considered us very, you know, unique because it's like either I've never seen it. I mean, if it's happened, I'm like, hey, I would love to know this. But it's like when they had twins like that, they either it was the male, male and male or female and female. They look identical. Never male and female. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard of that before. So it was a very unique, you know. Yeah, I'm like, oh, dog, I don't know what y'all were thinking about, but hey, it is what it is. You know, and it's just a beautiful connection with that. Being able to have that same energy to be with a person like that is a very beautiful thing. I was hitting in plain sight. You know, a lot of people didn't know he was my dad because it was like a colorism thing. You know, my dad's very light-skinned. I'm, you know, very fair-skinned. I'm a little bit, you know, I took all my mom's complexion, but I took his looks. So it was just like hitting in plain sight. So all these different things have occurred in my life, the abuse, you know, uh, not knowing, having veils snatched off at the worst time, you know, and not just, you know, one or two memories coming back, but everything fluttering back that has been taken from you on top of you grieving of a parent being lost that you didn't even know was your, your you know, your parent. Then knowing that they've come in interaction with you so many times, but you didn't connect with them like that. It was, you know, things just didn't fall out how it's supposed to. But going through all these different incidents, incidents is incidents. That's what I'm trying to say. 
it's truly been a blessing to me being able to heal you know i'm still healing there's you know there's you know there's still some stuff that i still you know struggle with but it's not as bad as as it was before you know i can actually say that you know yeah it was a sad thing to lose my dad my dad was like everything to me you know he's helped me get through a lot of things i didn't realize he was helping me get through a lot of things he was like my superhero they always used to help me out of my dreams didn't know you know all these different things have occurred but being able to know that i know i don't understand what the world's gonna you know do next i don't understand what i'm going but all i know is I, i'm on the road to recovery i'm on the road to you know positivity i'm on the road to abundance you know being able to you know express myself in the best kind of way i know how being able to help other people that are struggling you know with grief they're struggling with you know coming to terms with the things that has happened to them you know being able to see past what happened to them being able to say you're not going to be walking around like a billboard of a victim of what happened to you you're not a product of your situation you're not a product of that abuse you're not a product of whatever has been placed on your life you're the product of the thing that has happened to it but what are you going to have after all this are you going to heal are you going to you know you're going to play martyr what are you going to do you know all these different things have occurred in my life and i'm like you know what that is a, you know a, a good blessing to be able to have these situations that went on in my life and i'm just like you know what i'm blessed i really i can really really say i am you know yes i didn't get to see my dad on the physical but it's just a blessing that i can still talk to him anytime i want you know i can just you know think about him and poof he's there so being able to know it's, it's not you know it's, it's different it's you know it's not the physical but being able to have that spiritual essence being able to have that voice that you know I can always call on my dad you know all these different things have occurred and being able to help other people because like I said before if you've been with me for a while it was a sucky situation of going through a spiritual awakening and I did not know I was going through a spiritual awakening being able to have all these different mystical hats about myself you know, an INFJ, a spiritual conduit, a white witch, a twin flame, an indigo, a hayoka, all these different things that, you know, a clairvoyant medium, all these different things that have appeared in my life that I've been able to work with to be able to help people come to terms with their situation. Being able to let them know, hey, there is actually a label for this, even though we're not label type people. We're not the ones that come with instructions. We are the people do not fit in a box we're not supposed to but being able I being able to guide people towards some kind of sense of peace of mind you know know the world the road you're on to see this world for what it is it's not easy no it's not but it teaches us a lot of things and it's just about how you choose to look at them how are you going to go about the things that have been placed in your life you know being able to know so many of y'all that I connect with, you know, your 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 readers, your you know, tarot readers, your um, you know, probably motivational speakers, all these different things. It's like I gotta place this in my life and being able to put it on video to help other people, but it's gonna be a domino effect. Whatever you learn from me or whatever I learned from you, we're gonna take this off to be able to help somebody else. They're like, you know, because we're we're being, you know, uh empaths we have we're always people come to us about their issues i love when people come to me about their issues you know and i'm blessed the fact is god gave me that gift that you know if i can be able to tell you this is what you're going through this is what's occurring these are the things you need to look out for these are the things you need to take away these are the things you need to enhance these are the things you need to go towards you know all these different things have occurred and i really feel blessed to be able to do that and it's like being able to see that and knowing I'm stepping in my own truth, living in my authentic self, going down the road and being honest and real about it. You know, there's things that occurred in my life. And I felt like I was lying about some stuff like, oh, gosh, I thought I healed from all these things. And then it made me go all the way back to my inner child to be able to see things for what they were like. Hey, I was still hurt. These are the little things like if I think about, you know, my mom's ex-husband, I don't label him as my father. I label him as that person that I learned my incident from you're a person that, that was in my past you know I really don't feel myself as Rosalind anymore I really don't want to refer to myself as that anymore because all I see is when I see Rosalind I see this person that has went through so much hell I want to be able to change my my name change you know because I feel like I'm a new person so I really don't like going by that 
So it's just like all these different things have occurred in my life. And I'm just like, I, I'm blessed that I went through these things. I'm blessed that I was able to heal. It's like, as for me being in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person, I don't wish anything on him. I mean, he has taught me a lot. You know, anytime you're in a relationship and it has been toxic, you know, I always tell people never say that that was a waste of time because you, you came into your power. You've seen things for what they truly are. You know, if anybody else was to come towards you, because there's a lot of people that don't make it out of situations like that. Either the one person lays up in jail or one they're six feet deep or they come up missing, you know, all these different things. But I was blessed to be able to say, you know what, this is not for me. I've learned what I needed to learn. This is my time to heal. This is my time that I need to evolve. I can't deal with this anymore. You know, this it, it was supposed to be a part I needed to play for this quick moment, deal with it where I need to deal with it and go on with the go on. So it's just like when I see my family, it took a long time. I'm not even going to lie. I wish death on these people. I thought I was going to end up, you know, being another Menendez brothers or anything like that. Pulling a Charles Bundy, uh, Charles Bundy or whatever that boy name is. Al Bundy, whatever. Oh, that's Al Bundy from um, uh, that comedy show. But I'm just basically saying that I could have did something that could have really cost me my freedom. You know, I had to look at my children and say, I can't be one of those parents that quick to be acting out of anger, you know, death was too good for these people. I let universe and God deal with that. I'm going to just do my part, you know, because they have allowed me to be able to heal and know that, you know, I can see you. You ain't going to move no mountains for me. <laughs> you know, I might be that person that might be cold as hell. And I always tell people the worst thing you can do is be that person on the other end of the stick and they don't give a damn about your life. Now, that's the thing. I'm not going to try to commit murder or anything like that, but just shoot. If somebody held you for ransom, they just got you for ransom because I ain't about to pay the damn thing. But, you know, I'll pray for you. <laughs> that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I can say those situations with that family has taught me so much. I've disassociated myself. I said, I'm not, not even like you. We don't even be in We're not even in the same. Even though we're in the same zip code, we're in the same atmosphere but they have taught me a lot of growth they did things to me that you know I, I wouldn't even do that to my garbage you know and it was a lot of things that they had allowed me to be able to set myself free from that I never thought I would be able to do again but being able to have that occur in my life to be able to say you know what this has happened now what <laughs> now what now I see that I'm heading towards a different chapter having abundance to be able to use my knowledge to be able to push on towards people they say you know what if this happened to her and she's this and this and this kid we can get through something too you know it's just a sad situation that you know my dad's a public figure well it was a public figure you know I'm doing this on YouTube so it's somewhat saying you know but different you know, except he's been doing this for years. But it's just all the things that I've done. He did his part and, you know, flying high. I'm on my part and I'm still here on earth and doing my thing. So being able to do this, it, it has allowed me to be able to look at things a lot differently. Being able to take it all in when it was hard for me to do. Like I've told y'all before, there's days I didn't, I wanted to commit suicide because I wanted to desperately be with my dad. It hurt the hell out of me that my mom doesn't want to be in my life, but I have to respect that. You know, my mom went through a lot. My mom and my dad didn't really have a good relationship after that because situations occurred and my dad didn't have his daughter no more. You know, my dad acted a certain way when this situation happened, but he didn't allow people to know this in the public. So this happened before he became, you know, who he was, who that persona is. So nobody didn't know about me. So it's like all these different things have occurred that it's been hush hush it was like a taboo situation you know water cooler talk but being able to dive deep and go through this and see you know this is not my life you know this is not how this is supposed to end no it's not but it's allowing me to see who i am i came into my power i came into my strength did things that i never thought i'll be able to do not worried about what the heck anybody think of me you know, I feel like, you know, there's people that call me liars. There are people who say I pretend to be his daughter or I pretend to be his twin flame. I said it is what it is. I know I speak my truth. You know, if you're an empath, you would know if I was feeding you a BS or I'm really in my truth. You know, some people didn't even want to acknowledge it. That's fine, too. You know, I'll say at the end of the day, it still ain't going to change anything. 
you know, as I said, if you want to get mad, you got to be mad with, you know, my mom and my dad and, you know, and God about that. They ain't got nothing to do with me. What people think of me is none of my business. You know, I just want to be able to think that if somebody said my name and I know I've impacted your life in a positive way, you can be able to say, yeah, I know her. She's a cool person. You know, I'm just a girl next door, you know, but being able to do that was truly a blessing for me. Um, when you can be able to put yourself in that 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 situation to be able to tell people hey I went through this you know I'm still going through this you know um how you know <laughs> where am I gonna go from there I learn every day you know usually when people are doing the motivational thing they they're gonna heal and going through things that, you know mine is totally different God universe wanted me to be able to go through things make videos they give me visions, being able to be that that messenger to be able to tell you things so you can recognize the things that are going on in your life. Being able to see things without all the smoke and mirrors, without you being in your emotions. Because a lot of us, we do, you know, and I, I've been that person, act on emotion, to, you know, a temporary emotion for a permanent decision. So it's just like you have to be careful of the things that you do. You have to be able to think. You have. I always tell people, wait until you get out of your your, your feelings before you do that. Because me, I done acted out a lot of times, and I'm like, dang, when everything's said, and I'm like, I wish I didn't do that. You can't take things back. You have to be very mindful and use discernment about the things that you put out to people. After you don't say what you said to people, you can't take it back because it's already been said. You know, all these different things that's happened on in the life that you truly need to be aware of that occur so it's just like when you do that walk in your truth be authentic love yourself from all levels don't worry about how people perceive you because the right people will be there you know the right people will you know gravitate towards you we have that we have that you know that allure anyway to give people their you know need to be able to hear a message being able to have somebody guide you being a teacher and a student at the same time, being able to pass on what you have learned to be able to help other people. That's what I do. I love what I do, you know, so you'll be doing the same thing. So I'm not going to give a post notification shout out because I already don't talk over 22 minutes. So this is going to be my last video. If it's meant to be, I will go ahead and do some more videos tomorrow if this don't even come out tomorrow or whatever. But I hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Like, subscribe. Let me know if you're resonating with this situation. You know, I pray for everybody who's struggling to go through things. It will get better. You know, it's just how, how you look at it and take the time out for yourself to really see what you truly are and what you're capable of doing. So I will see you on the next video. I pray that everybody gets everything that they, you know, they truly want in life. And, you know, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, share, you know, tell people about the channel. will greatly be appreciated. And thank you for the further support. I love y'all with my heart. And I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace.